All right, I got this at uh, Home Depot. God, I can't even remember the brand. It's Lisley, L-I-S-L-E. Let's go, anyways. Uh, 10 millimeter spark plug adapter. So threads on this right here are supposed to be 10 millimeter and that's like an M10 or whatever and that should be the spark plug size. Let's see if we can figure it out. And let's see if my compression tester fits this side. Here's some compression tester stuff. I've got this one. Pull that off like so. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe this one. That end. I think that. So this is a little snap in, and I got something there, but. Let's see, this end works maybe? Neither of those fit. I'm gonna pull this off and maybe I'll get lucky. That looks pretty close. Can't do it with one hand. Look at that, okay. That works. I just gotta get that on there, I guess. Figure that out, maybe. Oh, looks like this will screw onto here, and that should go into there. There, and this. Let's play the one handed game, right? It's on. All right, let's go check the spark plug. So, this is not the engine that I want to test, but. Pull the plug off of here, check it. It's 16 millimeter, right? Sorry about that. Oh, that looks really similar. All right, compression tester. Oh, that looks right. That looks good. Uh, you, we can check the threads by if you hold them up to each other, they should like lock up basically when they touch each other. Um, and they feel good. Same, same, same. So, let's stick it in there. Ah. That's definitely in there. Let's pull that out. I guess that got stuck. In there is that also a 16 now wouldn't that be great oh nice this part gets better and better okay all right the bike is kind of tucked away in a bunch of crap um so i'm gonna climb in there and try to get you the best shot i can all right that is in there Compression tester, ready to go. Um, I'm gonna kick it, see what we can get. Get this throttle cable out of the way. There's no carb on it, so we don't have to worry about opening the carb up. Because um, that does supposedly help a little bit. And we'll see, there's a little release valve there. See how much compression is on this engine. Uh, this is the engine that I've been fighting with. So, you know, have a good battery on it. Ooh, it's moving. Something. Mm, all right. So, not great. Not great at all. Let me give it one more go. <clears throat> that really could be a big problem. Battery has some juice. Not sure how much yet. So, we're gonna try one more time. Let's 
so you can do the electric start. I mean, it was, it was up to like 75 for a minute, but it's back down to 20. So just by blowing into this, if that moves the wrong way, you can hear air leaking there. Um, I was gonna grab some of this, this tape here, plumber's tape, silicone tape, silicone. Um, and I was gonna put it on here uh, for this and maybe here, cause maybe I was leaking air and that's why I can't get much compression there. Um, but I think that's gonna leak no matter what. Um, so I may need to get a different setup that works with this that doesn't have this weird connector. Let me show you this connector real quick. Kind of clicks into place. Um, when you pull on this, it'll release it. It's got that sort of bearing setup or whatever in there that's supposed to hold it. And I guess hold it at the that little rubber gasket in there. Um, but it's. I don't even know how old it is. I had sort of inherited this from somebody. I'm sure that yeah, the gauge is fine. Um, but I don't have a way to, to, to hook it up to this properly. So that's kind of where we're at with that. Um, but this is great. If you have a compression tester, that'll probably fit into this. This is probably somewhat standard. Um, this is definitely the correct size, the 10 millimeter, uh, for the engine. Um, so... We're on the right path. We just need to get a better compression tester hose or adapter. This one screws, but I don't have adapter from here to this. It's too big. So um, it's where we're at. Um, some progress though. We've got the right part. This is the hardest part. I think most of the um, compression testers come with 12 and 14. So that's what we need. All right, so what what did we learn? Um, this part's good. We just need to find good compression tester for this or a hose that goes from my gauges to this. I got it at Home Depot, free shipping. It was like five bucks or something, something really cheap, maybe six, I don't know. Um, and I didn't really see it anywhere else. So, great.